Hi you guys, so I'm going to show you today how I take care of my hair for underneath my wigs. Um, I did not wash my hair this week. Sometimes I wash it once a week, sometimes I wash it every other week. So obviously I'm taking this weekend off of washing it because it's not dirty. I just needed to change my part. So my hair routine is pretty simple. I don't use a lot of stuff on my hair. It's basically deep conditioner, leave-in conditioner, an oil and water that's really all I use on my hair if I'm gonna wear my hair out or do a twist out I will use this ORS smooth and hold pudding for my twist or my braids other than that besides like edge control and stuff I don't put anything on my actual hair so normally I use the Cantu Shea Butter leave-in conditioner but I ran out of that and when I went to buy more this one was on sale and I actually really like it so I used it liked it went back and bought two more if you live in my area at Ebony Beauty Supply on Camp Wisdom in Dallas, these are on sale for $1.99 and this is a 16 ounce jar. Hello, go get some. I bought three of them hoes and I might get another one. It's the ORS Manoy Oil Tunisian, Tahitian Coconut Anti-Breakage Leave-In Conditioning Cream. It smells really good and it doesn't leave my hair feeling nasty so yeah i like it the oil that i pretty much always use is in these via tubes i like the peppermint one for my scalp i use the cocoa butter one and the avocado oil one pretty much any one these are a dollar and then just a little spray bottle and at night before i go to bed i try to use the jamaican black castor oil by tropic isles on my edges because as you can see my edges are just naturally really thin I do have a trick for how I make that blend with my wigs. I'll show you guys in the next video. These extra big scrunchies I get at Dollar Tree and they're bomb for puffs. So when I braid my hair down for my wigs, it just depends on where I want my part at in my wig. My hair is so dry, so we definitely using that spray bottle today. Um, I've been wearing my hair in a middle part. Ooh, ooh this is so ratchet, I'm sorry. Ooh, okay. So I've been wearing my hair in a middle part, so we're going to do a middle part. I braid my hair down pretty much in three sections so that it's super flat under my wig. I have a mirror above you guys and a mirror right here. So if you see me looking away, I'm just looking in the mirror. So it's pretty much a top section, a middle of my head section, and a back section which um i started doing a back section because the back comb in my wig would make my braids loose so i started doing a section to um in the back so that when i wanted to tighten those braids i wouldn't have to redo the whole middle and back so oh my hair is dry y'all it's dry but I swear it grows so fast. I don't know if y'all remember a year ago when I cut my hair. Well, I let my person I was with at the time cut my hair. Because it was so uneven from that side cut and stuff. So it's back good now, y'all. So these sections are going to be braided down by my ears. And then I take a section from the top of my ear all the way around to the top of my other ear and this obviously don't got to be perfect because ain't nobody gonna see it so yeah i hear you laughing at me so the back section is gonna go in about two or three braids i try to do three but when i'm really lazy i'll just do two and then the top section is always about four braids and then these are usually two or three braids so i'm going to do the back section and the middle section and then i'll come back and show you when i get to hey the top so section really quickly before i finish these two sections you may want to see how my hair has grown here in the back because that was a section that we had to cut quite a bit off of to get it to match that top section so we're to the middle of the rose tattoo armpit length whoop whoop and this side's a little shrunken because i haven't put the moisturizer on it but yeah they're both at armpit length middle of the rose tattoo yeah so i am back okay. i finished the middle section as well as the back section of my hair i'm going to show you guys 
So the back layer has three braids. The top layer has four. That's usually what I do if I'm not being lazy and just put two braids at the back. I keep this little rag with me so that I can wipe my hands off when I'm using the oil and the leave-in conditioner. So I do use this dimming brush. It does have some shed hair in it as well as a comb for parting and some clips or whatnot. So if you notice the braids are really flat so with my middle part it's going to be super super flat so we're going to do three braids on each side and this one's going to melt in with the one behind it just the way that i do it since my edges aren't that thick so i just take my spray bottle and i just mist it enough to where it's wet not really where it's drenched I take a little, that's a little too much, a little of the leave-in conditioner. And this is the same routine that I do after I shampoo and deep condition my hair. These are the exact same products that I use. And I use the same products whenever I'm refreshing my hair so that it stays moisturized. A little of the oil. I just rub that in my hands to seal in all the moisture. And then I go in and braid my hair. And again, like I said, these do not have to be perfect because no one is going to be seeing these braids except for your boyfriend. <laughs> and he got to love you regardless. So even if you're not good at braiding, you can flat twist. Um, you can put your hair in plaits, just whatever you have to do to get your hair flat for under your wig so that it's not looking all humpy and bumpy because that's not cute. Okay, and I really like to stop this braid here and just mesh it with the one behind it because the combs on this wig that I'm wearing are right at the ear flap and I don't want that ripping my hair if it's digging into a braid that close to my edges you know so I braid that and stop it there I'm so jealous of you girls with all them thick edges because my edges have just never been like that oh it's dry oh 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 and then I part there just clip that out of the way and the same thing go in with the water to get it moist leave-in conditioner yeah if y'all see that in your store this ORS Manoi oil Tahitian coconut it's actually really good it, it's very similar to the Cantu Shea butter a little oil to seal that in and then I brush through with my Denman brush. And then I braid it. And honestly, if this was a wash day, I just wash and deep condition my hair. I rinse out the deep conditioner. I have this little turban towel thing that I got at Dollar Tree. I let my hair air dry in that towel. And once it's dried a bit, not to where it's completely dry, but to where it's still a little damp, I go in and do this routine minus the spray bottle because, again, my hair is already wet from washing it. So, yeah, that's my usual routine. And like I said, I do that once a week or once every other week. I don't really like to go that uh, any longer than every other week washing my hair just because my scalp tends to get pretty itchy if I don't wash it I know some people's hair really thrives not washing it that often um, Andrea my boyfriend's daughter her hair is so long and so thick and she just doesn't wash her hair that often and that really works for her but my scalp would be so itchy if I didn't wash it that often so I'm going to do this other braid on camera and then I'll do the last three off camera. And that's how I do my routine, y'all. So leave-in conditioner, a little bit of oil to seal. So like the Lock Method liquid oil cream, I do liquid cream oil. It's just 
what works for me and my hair. And when I detangle my hair, I always detangle from the tips up to the root so that I get the least amount of shedding. And guys, one thing that did really work for me a while back, I was experiencing a lot of shedding. I did some research on YouTube and saw that everybody did the black tea rinses in their hair for shedding. That works. Like, you'll notice after your second time doing it, you will have significantly less shedding. That really does work. I just steeped about five tea bags in a container of water, put it in a spray bottle, and I would apply it in the shower after I shampooed. That stuff works. So if I ever feel like my hair is shedding a little too much then I will definitely go back to doing that. And another thing, I'm not sure if y'all noticed on that last braid, I braid my hair down to the scalp. And once I get about three passes off the scalp with the braid, I turn it into a twist. It's just easier to take your hair down that way without it tangling so that you're not getting single strand knots and tangles really bad when you take your hair out. Plus, if you decide to wear your hair how hair out in a puff when you take your braids down you have a really pretty curl pattern due to the twist so yeah i'm gonna do the other side and i'll be right back to close hey guys, so i have finished my braids three braids at the top four in the middle three at the back the last thing i do is i take this peppermint oil and apply it to my scalp so that my scalp is not itchy I go through lots of this oil, which is why I'm glad it's a dollar. And I apply that all over my scalp, all through the parts. I do this about every other night with oiling my scalp. Lastly, I take my Jamaican black castor oil. I need to buy an applicator bottle for this. I like to apply this at night. I really do this every other night, even though I should be doing this every night. I apply it at night just because I find that Jamaican black castor oil does not mix well with edge controls. It can tend to turn it a different color. So if you do it at night, it has all night to soak in and it will not affect your edge control. I personally like Gorilla Snot right now. Um, I go through my phases. Sometimes I like um, Murray's Edge Control. That's what I use on my clients. But for my own hair, I have been using Gorilla Snot. So I take this satin scarf from the beauty supply. It's $2.99 around where I live at pretty much every beauty supply. I just apply that to my hair. And I take it around the back and crisscross it. And I bring it up to the front and that's going to allow that castor oil and the other oils you applied not to seep into your pillow you can see you have some hair sticking out that's where your bonnet comes in apply my bonnet and that is how I take care of my natural hair under my wigs in the morning i will show you guys how i apply my wigs and how i get the parting to look as natural as possible without leave out because i don't do leave out my hair won't do it and the little tips and tricks i use to blend my thin hairline in with the thick hairline of the wigs that i wear so i will see you guys in the morning thank you so much for watching and sticking around and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Follow me on Instagram at Brittany Blabber. I post there more frequently. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.